Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis on big mega cap stocks. So before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon and now let's get right into it guys on apple stock is down 0.71 percent so apple did not push even higher today we did not actually take out high from this candle yesterday and we actually came down and took out low from this candle yesterday and now trading at 194.48 so here on apple stock guys you can see it's sitting right on top of this five day moving average 194 and that is gonna be a key level to watch going into tomorrow's session on friday 194 gives up there will be another support down here this consolidation range and the rejection at 193 and below 193 apple also will have support at 191.82 and then 190 so far as long as apple stays above 190 on any pullback that is still bullish and why because we got 20 day moving average now sitting at 190 and that is still bullish even if we get a pullback down to 190 and this thing can push even higher. Now things will change. Apple breaks under 190. We get a big sell off. In that case, Apple will drop all the way down to 183 below 190. So watch out. Apple just getting a pullback. We might see continuation to the upside again. And I think a new all time high definitely possible on Apple stock as long as we're above 193 on Apple. And here's my X account and if you guys are on there definitely give me a follow and there is no subscription nothing here on X is totally free and you can always ask me a question if you have right here on X and here's a fantastic play from today guys Meta shorting right here pretty much right at the top at 500. I think Meta got up to 502, but at the end, just before closing, selling out completely right here at 493 for a nice profit. So all these trade ideas are available on Patreon, and especially if you guys are serious about trading, definitely check out their link down below in the description for Patreon. On Meta, it's down 0.26%. So Meta was running again today and you guys saw that play was fantastic. Got in just above 500 and then Meta ran up to almost 503 and then gave away all the gains. Caught a, at least a $7 move to the downside and this was a really good trade on Meta. Now, if you look at my screen, came back and down to 490, critical level right here. 490 gives up. You're going to see a drop down to 50 SMA, 480 and then this gap, 478. Meta will also have support 20 SMA right down here at 475 and then 470. Now as long as Meta can hold 490 then watch out for a move back up to 500 again and above 500 this thing can run possibly up to 520. On Amazon stock it's up 2% so Amazon I mean look at this explosive move to the upside I mean this is insane. Amazon breaking out of this downtrend filling this gap and look at this guys I mean this thing exploded and closing right at 185 so here on Amazon is this it you know Amazon going back up to the upside and possibly another fresh new all time high or Amazon will get a rejection at 185 and then if that happens tomorrow you need to watch for the support right down here 20 SMA and that's going to be around 182 and below that 180. 180 gives up Amazon will drop again down to 176 and then 173. On Google stock it's up 0.72% so Google again pushing higher and looks like we're not too far away from hitting all time highs and that can happen tomorrow 180 plus on Google to the upside. Now 180 breaks and holds right here then there will be even more upside on Google stock. But until then, watch the support down here, guys. Key level of support 176 and then this gap 175.19. Below this level right here, this gap, there will be a drop on Google stock all the way down to 170, 166.40, down to 162, and then this gap 158.28. On AMD, it's up 0.37%, so AMD getting up to almost 170 and then came back and again today, guys, I mean, 
It's easy to make money on a stock like AMD. As long as you have a game plan and you got a stop loss, you can make money anytime. Look at this, 163.86. And we've been talking about this level for a long time, 164. It was holding, so if you actually got in right here at 164, you made money. This thing got back up and now it's trading at almost 167. That is decent amount of money for a day trader to make right here on AMD. And now again, it's over 164. So that's gonna be your line in the sand for AMD for tomorrow. And below 164, 161.85, and then this gap, 153.49. As long as AMD can hold 164, watch out for continuation all the way up to 174, and then possibly going even higher up to this resistance right here, 184. And you can see the Bollinger Band on top expanding. So yes, that move can actually happen later on. We just need to get out of this range right here which is gonna be around 174. If that breaks, this is gonna be out of this range, and then the next range and the next resistance will be at 184. On Microsoft, it's absolutely flat on the day, and what I said last night, again, Microsoft getting down to 420, and the support was holding, guys. So another opportunity out of those videos that I made yesterday, 420 was holding, and just like you know, um, Amazon and anything else that I make videos on pretty much every day, all these mega cap stocks, 420, your line the same, did hold today on Microsoft. And now you can see easy four or $5 to the upside you could have played. And now it's trading over 424.52, almost filling this gap at 425.69. So now here on Microsoft, early as tomorrow morning, it's only like what, uh, $2 away, not even that. This thing can fill this gap at 425.69. Now, if that breaks and Microsoft holds above that level, then the next stop will be right up here, all time highs, 433.60. Below, right here, 425.69, there will be strong support down here at 420, and 420 gives up, watch out for 415, 413, 408.50, lower Bollinger Band, and then this gap, 399.93. On Tesla stock, it's up 1.68%, so no clean breakout yet. Not above 183. I need to see a clean breakout on Tesla over 183, and it needs to hold here for at least a day or two, and then you're going to see continuation to the upside all the way up to 200. Until then, you need to watch the support right down here. Again, 50 SMA coming into rescue, 172. Again, today, 172.73. So that is going to be your line in the sand for tomorrow, 172. Because below that, you're going to see more selling down to 168 and then possibly down to even 152 on Tesla. So Netflix cooling off today just a tiny bit, down 0.27% and getting up to almost 660, 6, 6, uh, 658, almost close to this uh, previous 52 week high. And uh, getting a rejection from this previous candle right here at 658 and pulling back and now trading above these two moving averages right here and holding over 644. So you're lying the sand here on Netflix 644 and below that 633.49, 20 SMA and then 630, a critical major support here on Netflix. Below that, you're going to see a drop down to uh, 624 to 625 and then 611 down to 604. Now, as long as this thing can stay above 644, watch out for continuation back up to 664 to 665 and possibly been 700 at some point as long as we can trade above 630 on netflix that is still bullish and this thing can push even higher moment we take out 630 and this thing actually starts to trade under 630 that is when that's going to be concerning because yes we can see a pullback we left a lot of these gaps open down here and any moment this thing can come back but we need that confirmation and that would be trading under 630 for more downside but above 630 on this daily time frame and now that it's holding these moving averages right here 644 definitely bullish for a move all the way up to another new 52 week high and that would be 664 to 665 and possibly even 700. On Nvidia stock is down just over 1% and I think the game is over after tomorrow guys. The split will happen on the 10th of June, that is Monday, and tomorrow is the last day you can trade NVIDIA stock at 1200. So watch out, something big is coming out of NVIDIA, and the options are gonna be really cheap uh, than uh, whatever you're paying right now. So a lot of people can actually afford to buy options on NVIDIA stock, even though nobody cares, they're still buying NVIDIA, 
you know, calls and puts are getting bought up. Tons of them every time on Nvidia stock. Even today, I mean, look at this dip buying today and pushing the price over 1200 just before closing. So going into tomorrow's session, looks like Nvidia wants to come down and possibly close this gap before the split. 1166. So below 1200, I thought that was going to happen today. 1166, this thing went back up. So tomorrow, looks like it's selling up right now. Opens below 1200. Watch out for this as a support and the gap right here. 1166. We also have support at 1155 and below that all the way down here at 1100. Now, as long as this thing can hold 1200, then watch out for continuation and possibly another fresh new all time high before the split. And that's going to be 1260 on Nvidia stock. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and I'll definitely keep you guys updated going into tomorrow's session.